Hi, this is Astrid, and I am going to spend a little bit of time today talking about um, setting up the MPC uh, Touch. And actually, this will uh, not only apply to the MPC Touch, but it should apply to Live um, as well as um, the X machine. Um, and actually any of the MPC uh, controllers really to be honest because I believe they all kind of use the same driver mechanism and I can only validate this in uh, Mac OS and I'm running Mojave uh, version 13.3 um, but it should work in Windows um, again it's about the the actual driver itself so um, what I'm going to show you right now is I have a battery, a uh, Native Instruments battery um, um, VST um, attached, and I just want to prove to you that it does work. Um, and I'm, I got some B roll going too to show you that there, the uh, controller is actually turned on, um, and I don't have the MPC software, VST software open. So I'm able to use the pads. Um, with other con other um, VSTs, which is really cool, and also you can use the transport buttons as well um, to stop and start, um, and actually record as well. Um, um, there's only a simple thing that you have to do uh, to be able to get this to work, and I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to go to Live's Preferences, and with the preferences open, what you need to select is this this uh, um, section it says link MIDI and look at the side that the, the uh, middle section where it says control surface in your control surface select the advanced and then in the input and output section for the MPC select MPC touch public so again if you're running Mac OS you should have a driver called MPC Touch Public. Um, you need to make sure that it's selected for input and output. And as extras, if you look down at the bottom of the screen, it shows you the inputs and the outputs for MIDI devices. Um, I actually have this turned on for input. So we just turn it on and I have it turned on for sync. And down at the bottom where it says output, I have it turned on for output for public, which is probably not needed because it's using the top driver. But just as an extra precautionary thing, I always like to have it turned on in there as well. Um, so there's no real need to set up MIDI mapping with it um, because it's already mapped using the advanced keyboards uh, transport controls. So mostly you just want to be able to control um, stop start, play, record, you know, use the pads um, with other devices or with other VSTs and still utilize the MPC software. So that is possible. Um, let me let me show you that as well. So right now again I have that battery in there. But I'm going to drag in the MPC um, VST to show you that it does still work with the MPC VST. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So I'm dragging the MPC VST. And instantly when I open that, um, I've got some B-roll going here. You see the MPC's software show up, the controls console show up on my MPC controller. And uh, of course, I'm going to show you on the the regular screen view um, that I'm looking at the MPC software. So um, I can still navigate um, the MPC software without any issues, without any conflicts with in Ableton um, using the transport controls. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, please leave comments in the comment section and I'll get back to you and answer any questions that I can. Um, this should be, you know, it should make your workflow a lot easier, especially if you're using the MPC controller as like one of your primary, um, I, I call them uh, <laughs> your primary kind of touch 
kind of tactile interface rather. Um, so if your MPC is like your only tactile interface outside of maybe a small other little keyboard, then this will definitely help improve your workflow. Um, but if or if you even if you're using MPC exclusively as your only primary tactile keyboard, um, your only tactile device, then it helps too because then you could use it with other VSTs by having access to the pads. Um, so again, um, leave comments. Um, and I'll get back with you and thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Um, I'm constantly improving and updating content and trying to help as much as I can and see you later.